Right, so this kitchen has been fitted and as seems to be the case for some doors, they want to knock. This one here bangs against his handle and it's um, rather naff. And if we go to the other end of the kitchen, this cupboard here does the same thing. Um, it doesn't bang against the handle, but it will bang against this wooden trim here. So I'm going to do some check straps for that door and that. So first thing is design check strap because that's crap. Um, it's not an uncommon feature. Let's see if I can demonstrate. See how far this door will actually go back. Yeah. If you can get the idea of 90 degrees off that worktop here. And um, anyway. I've not particularly liked the um, the fact that those doors go well over 90 degrees and on a corner cabinet that means they're going to bang into whatever's there so with that I'm going to design something and um, we'll see how we get on So I've got my um, drawings up on my um, cabinet side, replacing all the old drawings I've had up there. Um, I've got uh, the triangle wedges. Now these have come off the offcuts off what I was making for the um, the fly scheme brackets. Uh, I'm going to true them up. Uh, if they're not quite the right size, they're not quite the right size. I'm not too worried if I don't match the drawing specifically. But um, they're good bits of brass to start with. And I've got me a bit of brass bar which I'm going to use for the actual check strap itself. So let's, um, let's crack on shall we? So I've put this in the mill and I've just vaguely squared it up. I know it's got a little bit of piss on it so I've actually tried to counter that as well. Um, I'm just going to deck this off roughly until it looks like it's flat, uh, turn it over and then uh, do the other side, the other cut side, which I will we'll then square up because hopefully I'll have a flat bottom to go on. Uh, this side I think is going to get notched out so it sits over the, um, the bar. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the first order operation. I've not measured anything, just slapped it in there, winging it as usual.
doesn't look too bad. Nice and smooth, that's for sure. So that's both of them. Right, let's put them in level now. So I swapped out for a longer end mill, and as you can tell, I've zoomed you right in, and um, I've leveled it off, and so I'm just going to mill the side of that off. Uh, that's lovely and smooth, so I'm going to leave that. Um, obviously, I've got to reduce the height on these, but I'll do that as a matched pair, I think, when the time comes. For now, it's just a matter of just roughly drawing them up. Right, let me put the other one in. Right, so I've decided to bring these down to my um, nominal height now, which is 12 mil. At the moment, I'm standing at 21 and a half, give and take. Obviously, there's a little bit of deviation between the two, but um, I thought I'd bring it down. I've changed from the end mil to a 10 mil because obviously you've got to do a 10 mil slot in the top of it as well, and I thought I might as well just do it. So I've upped the size of the mil, um, and I've just stood them up in the vise, clamped them up. It's not ideal with them both being in there, but they come out the same bit of bar stock and they clamped up pretty well. So um, I squared them up simply by putting a set square on the top of the um, vise and basically just eyed up against the joint. And that's about as accurate as I think I need. I mean, at the end of the day, it's only pushing up against a little plunger. It's not like it's doing anything critical. So um, let's start taking some off. So that was that first half mil, and that's a really nice finish that actually. Um, 
what I'm going to try and do is actually go round that way so the mill is always trying to push against uh, the other one part against the other part just to I don't know how, I don't think it's going to move but anyway um, that really is a nice finish really pleased with that right okay so that's the first half mil so I've got 20 mil now so I've got uh, 8 mil to go I might just zero off my um, knee again right okay let's um, crack on then And really nice finish that mill okay so I'm going to carry on like that no point in me filming it I'll bring you back when I'm um, doing the final pass right I've um, centered the tooling on the part and I'm going to run in the 10 mil slot um, then I'm going to measure it just to see because uh, we do need exactly 10 mil plus a bit of wiggle room so I need that 2.2 deep I think just to so it's 2, two mil is the thickness of the bar I'm going to add about 0.2 onto it just again add a little bit of wiggle room don't want to go in too tight fits in there lovely got a little bit of wiggle to it it's nice got the end of an end mill here so I'm figuring that's good enough and that's pushing through but I can still feel resistance there Okay, so I'm going to bung on another point 0.1 I think and that should be good enough right so I've just done another point 0.1 uh, why does it matter on this part well it doesn't it doesn't matter at all it matters on the um, the block housing at the other end but I just wanted to prove that everything was working nicely with this mill and this bit rather than bugger up more complex bit you know I've got quite a few of these triangle bits that you know it came to it but there you go, so I think that's okay. So uh, what I might just do is just run down each side and take the, the sharp edge off. Um, and I might have to drop this down on height on the tip. Reason being, I left this at about 14mm rather than 12 Purely simply because the width was getting a bit short. And um, obviously I've got to bolt this in. So I need to be able to drill this, tap it and put a, a bolt hole in it which will be the next operation after doing this.
Right, okay, so hopefully my calculations are good. What I've done is move this over to the left, half the width for this drill bit, and it's a 3.3mm drill bit. So that was 1.65. Then I've moved it over uh, 3.25. So theoretically that gives me a wall thickness by the time I put a 4mm tap in there. Of all brain hurt, oh, I did think it work it out, uh, 1.25mm. Strange figure I know, but I figured that's plenty of wall thickness. I mean, it's not like it's doing um, huge amounts of work, but um, according to my measurements that's that's good enough so that's what I'm doing anyway so I'm going to bosh a hole through here move it over on the other side bosh a hole through tap tap bits done apart from maybe milling the top off Thank you.